All right, so this is the six foot sub challenge at, as you can see in the background there, Nick's place in Lexington, Massachusetts. I gotta throw up a little bit of video there of a little bit of the cr creating of the uh, sandwich. I didn't take a lot of video. I think Mickey did a lot better in taking the extra video I, than I did. I was kind of busy, so um, actually I was just lazy. But yeah, you can see the sandwich there. It's a six foot sub and I'll go over what's What's in it? Um, uh, Nick weighed everything. Nick, the owner, weighed everything in the, in, the, in the sandwich. So we know pretty good about what everything weighed. The bread came in at about four and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds of tomatoes. It was a lot of, it was a lot of extra tomatoes. I actually don't like tomatoes, but um, I can handle them if uh, in a challenge. I, would, I wouldn't eat them normally. Two pounds of mayonnaise. And as you'll see in the rest of the video, that's a lot of mayonnaise. So um, yeah, three pounds of cheese. We had um, a pound and a half of lettuce, pound and a half of pickles, a pound of onions, and, and we settled out with eight pounds of uh, roast beef. And as you can see there, the roast beef was cooked very well, um, and it was freshly sliced, as I showed you know in, in the video just a little while ago. So, yeah, this is a six foot sub. Everything came out to be a total of around twenty four pounds. You can see Nick putting on some barbecue sauce there. And there's my thumbs up for the sandwich. And then this is what it looked like when they first brought it out to us. And uh, pretty much like you see it in the main video there. So there was uh, a couple of people came to watch and stuff like that. There wasn't a ton of people, but it was it was nice to have a couple of people come out and watch. And, and uh, I really appreciated that. So yeah, the eating starts at around 3 minute 30 second mark. So if you don't want to hear me talk a little bit about the challenge you can just fast forward to that i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave the video pretty much uncut i'm not going to add any fast forwarding it's kind of long uh, almost 50 minutes but um you can there's a lot of banter going on and uh, i don't do much talking in the video but mickey does and you can hear some talking of the people standing around as well so i think it's kind of entertaining and the owner talks a little bit about his business and stuff like that so i'm not going to bother with a timer we have one hour to do this challenge and um there's no record or anything. This is the first time anybody's ever attempted it. So we're not really trying to beat a timer or anything like that. And so I'm not going to put a timer up. We just There's a timer in front of us and you'll know if we beat it or not by the end of the video. Uh, another thing I want to say is uh, everybody always like, oh, who's going to win the challenge? This is a team challenge. So uh, we're not racing each other. This is not a challenge between us. This is a, a challenge to see if we both can finish this um, sandwich. If one of us finishes before the other and the other one can't finish, it we both lose. So this is really a team challenge. And that's really goes for a lot of different challenges. People always comment on, you know, one person finishing the challenge before the other. A lot of the times it's not a, um, not a, not a challenge. You just two, you know, two people eating in a restaurant and they eat at different rates. So it's not a race between us. It's not like a contest. If it was a contest. Oh yeah. We, we want to win. Uh, you see me a little bit of a shameless, um, plugging there my power aid. I have that right out in front. Maybe Coca-Cola someday will sponsor something, hopefully. I'm trying to get something going. So I got my Powerade sitting out there. And you can see part of a Coca-Cola sign. I couldn't find a good way to um, get it all the way in the shot, but did my best. All right, so we're, we're starting to eat. You can see um, I'm pretty much going to eat this sandwich just like a sandwich. I'm not going to deconstruct it too much. Uh, Mickey had her own method to doing, doing the sandwich. Um, but I just wanted to eat it like a sandwich. And uh, I think that was the best way for this, this challenge. So, all right. I want to just mention a little bit about the ingredients. The roast beef was really good. Everything was really, really tasty. I don't like tomatoes, but it wasn't a big deal in this challenge. Um, the pickles, everything was good. The bread was very tasty. It had a lot of sesame seeds on top, but it was kind of hard. So it was like a hard, hard roll almost. So the outside of it was tough. And, um, but we were able to, we did our best on it. So, all right. So you have to watch the end to see what happens. And, and, uh, yeah, six foot, 24 pound sub. All right. Thanks for watching. No, they're going to have to. So the roast beef is nice and rare. And the sauce has a good amount of tangy into it. We've got another one. Slices it nice and Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was it tasty at least? I think roast beef was a good choice.
pizza is easier. I know he's the pizza king. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah Jeff and Hill's pizza like nothing. That's a two-minute video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he looks like he enjoys it because he's in the You guys notice Tony not a friend back there on the wall, Tony Soprano and all those guys? Those are the good old days. The good old days. Yeah. Those are good job. Yeah. How long have you been here? 28 years. Wow. A long time. I think those pictures have been up there for 28 years. The sun's <laughs> killed them. I gotta, I gotta start uh, putting the new ones on. Tony was. I got it there. I love Tony, but the red is always my favorite. I'll be honest with you, Tony was. I met him a few times and realized he was Candle a jerk. Yeah, he yeah, right? yeah. passed away now, but he was a jerk off. Yeah. yeah, he had a reputation. Frank Santorelli is a pal of mine. I see him all the time. Yeah. Um, George, the bartender. All oh, right, yeah. Uh, he's a stand-up comic. Okay? He yeah. hangs out with Lenny Clark and all those guys. I've seen a few times. pretty funny. I've he's seen him a guy. few times. He, him and uh, the hell with the, 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 Paul, the guy with the hair. That freaking Silvio. No, not Silvio. The other one. Uh, um, Paulie. Oh, oh, the yeah. one that's the musician. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, not the musician. Paulie's a musician. Paulie, no, Paulie was actually a film monster. Yeah, he, he, I see them doing <laughs> the comedy together. The with the wing. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. I see them do comedy together. Yeah. But the, uh, the other guy from the East Street band. I mean, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, the boss. Even that And his wife, his actual real wife, was his wife in the show. Yes. yes. I love the show. I mean, it's classic. The sesame adds a nice depth of flavor. Yeah, that was. It's just a little bit crispy on top. That's possible. We can't roll it. We can't roll it. Yeah. We can't make our pseudo. And there's so much mayonnaise, I'm afraid to do my normal <laughs> rolling. Thing. She does a bread <laughs> redo every <laughs> time. <laughs> and we roll it. Jeff's definitely beating <laughs> If anybody had any questions about that. <laughs> you crushing it yourself. I think Jeff put the smallest side, right? That's what it was. Yeah, that's that's you got something Yeah, I have a 
Some like um, maybe get some like numbing lubricants or something. Yeah. You put that up there, and, you know. Yeah, it's like a little cold one. But it's it's probably temperature is the problem because that foam that's up here gets cold, and then that's what causes the brain freeze. Um, I don't know. You kind of just put that. You try to put that stuff to the side. It's no different than like you see professional athletes to play out a game after they look like they might have gotten hurt, and then after the game, like oh yeah, three cracks ribs in the concussion, and then you feel it. Yeah. Oh, I see. What are some of those crazy ice challenges? Uh, Booker with the slushes? Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, Booker's pretty big, incredible with the cold stuff. Crazy with the cold. Being a big guy, I look at all the competitive eaters. For the most part, for the most part, yeah. We, um, there's an exception. I don't know, Gideon's a giant. Gideon's a large torso. Gideon's a monster with a massive mouth. Yeah, and he just got that big piece. With that? Yeah. Yeah. Or we're not going to just start to keep a manhandle. Yeah. yeah. As long as you get a pretty cross section, like, yeah, I'm not going to drop it. Oh, no, you can't roll. Yeah, it just saves some time. Does this look like bread? Oh, there you go. It's just so pretty. Yeah, there's, what, two and a half pounds of tomatoes? Yeah, we cut it down. Oh, yeah. Remember? That's so not happening. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
what shoes it? They sold to another company for a while. And then they stopped back to the guy who started. He made a big deal because they wanted to divest that. They paid him millions of dollars. He wanted that. I'm just tasting a lot of it. I'm going to get prepared of one for the first. It was the best thing ever made. At least there's no whole egg. That would have been Yeah, I gotta put out a large cup on the table. Hey, they're out. Just like a good one. He's insanely fast, too. I know, it's ridiculous. He doesn't even look like he's popping it in there. It's like he's it. I think the, the edible bulk is the craziest thing I've seen. Oh. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
All right, so I figured I'd just pop back in here and tell you a little bit about what's going on, what I'm thinking and stuff like that. So we're, I finished my half of the sandwich and I decided to actually eat a little bit of this top bun, more because I thought it was very good. It had a lot of sesame seeds on it. It was pretty crunchy. It was really, good, really, really good bread. Uh, I don't, Mickey probably didn't need the help, but uh, I just wanted to do something here while I was, while I was waiting. Um, I ate the sandwich more. I kept mine together and ate more as much like a sandwich as possible. Mickey decided to take hers apart and that's, that's each individual's, it's up to the person, right? It's not a, uh, it's no big deal. It's not like one way is better than the other. It's just that's some, that's just what we like to do. So, um, yeah, I'm halfway done. I looked at the clock. I saw how much he had left. I saw how much what I, what I had left. And I, I had, I thought I was pretty confident that we were going to finish this challenge. So, uh, just kind of eating relaxed here and just waiting for, for her to finish up. So everything was really good. The sandwich tasted really good all the way up to the end. There was a lot of mayonnaise. You can hear both of us comment on that quite a bit. So um, even as I'm eating this top bun, the top bun had a lot of mayonnaise on. You can see it on my face even. Um, yeah, that was probably the main <laughs> the main thing about this sandwich was the mayonnaise. Didn't taste bad though. It was much better than Miracle Whip. I do like Miracle Whip, but the tanginess of the Miracle Whip gets to me over time. So yeah, I, I have no, I have pure confidence we're going to finish this challenge and um, it's just a matter of when. So keep watching and listen to the banner. You can kind of hear some, I don't know, every now and then someone says something pretty good in the background. So I, I, I kept everything in here. So, all right. Thanks for watching. You guys are this, this is, um, yeah, it's different though. About the same amount of time though. What was it? Twenty-seven minutes on the pizza. How long was it? Twenty-seven. Yeah. So it was roughly around the same time. I think the pizza was heavier. Lighter. Yeah. Yeah. I told him to get me that roll. Uh, the moles, uh, you know, the seeds and stuff. It's supposed to be a little. It's supposed to be a little softer. Right? This one was uh, wasn't as soft as it should be. That was. It was hard. There's more chewing than I expected. Jeff's really good. It's because it's like, you're on display eating, you know? It's like, yeah. I'm just embarrassed. I made such a mess. Yeah, I'm good. For a while, I was eating like the maize and the cheese and stuff the back. I just started to really Where do you eat? Uh, eight, yeah. Yeah. 
he's, he's taking it with a trash car. Or with a month, a month if you need it, I don't care. You're never be stuck in winter. Uh, uh, and then the guy didn't think it's stolen. That's stolen? They got stolen. They stole it for the carburetor, the carburetor motor and the uh, catalog. Uh, all the scrap. All the scrap. I think the cash will work too. I'm going to finish. It doesn't matter, we just got to finish it. It'll be the record. Uh -huh. Is that going to answer my question? Yeah. I have the fastest time in